Right. Thank you very much. We're going back now to the days when the likes of Charlie Chaplin, Stan Laurel, and Morecambe and Wise trod the boards in the North West. They used to appear at the popular Argyle Theatre, but if you asked anyone in Wirral, you'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who knows about it. That's because it was destroyed in the blitz of World War II, but now, 70 years on, a group of local actors are doing their bit to make sure that the Argyle's memory lives on. Our Merseyside correspondent, Andy Bonner, reports. It may not look like much, but one time greats like George Formby and Charlie Chaplin all appeared in this car park. Well, to be exact, they appeared in the theatre that once stood here. I look up there and think, gosh, I sat up there with Mum and Dad, my brother, sitting in the um, book circle, higher above than that. It was lovely. Joan Braidwood was seven when she got hooked on the Argyle. There's so many happy moments, really. Um, People were singing and dancing, and um, the orchestra was, it was all new to me, you know, but it was wonderful. It was a wonderful atmosphere. No one of the big names appeared at the Argyle in its day. It was one of the most important music halls in the land. But it all came to an end in September 1940, when a German bombing raid destroyed the building. Exactly 70 years on, enthusiasts are reviving memories of the Argyle at Portsal Knights Gladstone Theatre. Let's all go to the music hall. With the orchestrations that I've done, I've tried to be as truthful and as original to the well to the to the manuscript as possible. So I think um, when they hear you know the overture and those saxes start playing up, they, they, they'll, it'll just take them right back to. To how, how they remember the musical. In midsummer, we welcome the eight Lancashire lads of clog dancers. One name jumps out of the programme. It was Charles Chaplin. Chaplin wasn't the only name to appear at the Argyle. Stan Laurel and a whole host of others had starring roles. Old Mother Riley, uh, Max Wall, uh, Max Miller, uh, G. H. Eliot. And of course there'd be, there'd be variety acts and novelty acts, you know, dancing dogs and this sort of thing. The same sort of thing you probably get now on Britain's Got Talent. But that was the birth of modern entertainment, modern mass entertainment, and modern popular music, if you like. Oh, it's so lovely. The Argyle Theatre may be long gone, but its memory now looks set to continue for a little while longer. Andy Bonner, Granada reports, Birkenhead. Well, that's going to latest weather. Fred's on the roof with the